Hi, we're going to be installing a washing machine by connecting it to a sink in an apartment. There are a variety of small washing machines that can connect directly to your faucet, but I actually prefer a normal size washing machine with hot and cold water. So instead of connecting it to the faucet, we're going to be splitting off from where the sink gets its water and bringing that to the washing machine that will be here soon. You're going to need several parts to make this connection between a washing machine and a sink. Your sink will probably have a hose going from a 3 8 inch up to a half inch uh, fitting connecting the, the pipe from your wall up to your sink. If you have a dishwasher, you'll have the same 3 8 inch fitting connecting to that sink that's branching off to your washing machine, and that connects to a 3 quarter inch female hose thread connecting to your dishwasher. A dishwasher and a washing machine have the same 3 quarter inch female hose threading, unless it's something unusual, but that's the typical size. What you need to do is find a dishwasher hose rather than a washing machine hose and then you can connect that up. Since my washing machine will be installed next to the counter and it's, it's a lot further than a normal hose will reach, I, I grabbed the longest hose they had, which was an 8 foot hose, and, and you'll see what else I have. Here's the 8 foot 3 8 inch uh, inlet hose. Here's your 3 quarter inch female hose thread, which attaches nicely to your 3 8 inch hose. You'll get under your sink, turn off the water, and you'll remove the, the hose going into your faucet. You're going to put in one of these adaptive valves so it'll have an inlet and then it branches off. One to your sink, one to your washing machine. If the washing machine hose isn't long enough, you can get another male-to-male -male garden hose threading. It's also 3 quarter inch and that will just connect right on there and you'll be able to attach your normal washing machine hose to this. You'll also need to extend your drainage hose. Since you're going to be putting your hose directly into your sink, you should probably get a lint trap and just connect it right on there. Be mindful that there will be water in the hose, so you should have a little catchment underneath. When you attach that valve, think about the orientation that you want the, uh, the hose coming out at. That's all hooked up. You just turn it on. Let's see. We've got our washing machine line and our sink both working. A couple pointers when you're attaching the hoses. Since these hoses have washers, you don't actually need any pipe tape. And they don't need to be screwed on much tighter than, than fingers. So get it finger tight, and then with a little wrench, just give it a little extra. Um, you may need to double check with, with your connection when you turn on the hose and just make sure there's no leaks, and if there are, tighten it up. Uh, that should be fine. So, the new washing machine has been delivered. Looks about what I was expecting. Just gonna take these hoses on over and hook it up. Got the hot and cold set up. I'm just hooking up the hot to 
to the heart and call to the hole. All right, everybody's snug. Now the moment of truth. We turn on the waters and look for leaks. Got a good amount of pressure in the lines. Don't see any leaks there. Water's running all the way to here. Nothing there. No leaks here either. So, that's a success. There you have it. No more trips to the laundromat. One thing I need to finish up on is the drainage hose. Um, at the moment I just caked it down. You're going to get a lot of pressure coming out of that hose when, when the time comes. So you really want to make sure it's secure and it's going to put the water into the sink and down the drain. Well, everything works. I'm happy you were able to take this time with me. And uh, happy washing. And when you're all done, you can get some super sweet drying racks. These are the best. And just hang up your stuff. Thank you.